Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part six of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Iran. Now, we are in a down part of our game at the moment due to the fact that we have hardly any equipment and that is causing us loads of problems. The fact that we haven't had units just disbarred, destroyed because of equipment deficit is amazing. And I'm saying that in actual being deadly genuine when I say that. The lack of equipment is definitely real. And the Soviets don't seem to want to push this border, my border back for me. Because we joined the common turn against my... I would definitely say it's against my will. I didn't intend to join the common turn. I didn't want to. I had to. It's definitely more of a... It was necessary type situation. I don't know when this asshole leaves. Two days. No, oh, he's gone. Oh, that must be how long it takes me to get there. We're going to retrieve our land. So we, we definitely pulled ourselves out of a bad situation. It's just more of a... I didn't want to be in this fucking situation to begin with. But we got put into it and the British attacked us. It just happened. But as long as we get Turkey, I'm okay. British have thrown a lot of their men onto this one spot. Problem is the AI isn't gonna fucking help adequately. They're gonna help badly. And we're losing a shit ton of equipment again. Of course we are. Again, really wish the game I really really wish AI land leases were a thing. Are the AI sending you land leases? Make the game a little bit more realistic and useful. But hey, we're winning on this front, that's always nice. You know what, these 14 guys I'm gonna at least send to here. You guys, all of you. Go. Push, take all of it. I would say get to Cairo, but yeah, we're not gonna get that lucky. Jesus Christ, we lost way too many men here. Our upgrades are not really going to do much at this point. Actually, yeah, let's not do that. Let's get factory output up a bit. Oof. I have no clue if we're going to be able to do it. I'm hoping. But the amount, the numbers we're missing, though, it just, it just seems impossible at this point. And without the factories I've got, I know I've got over here, it would uh, it'd be better if I was having those factories. But obviously the AI disagrees. When we get enough points, we are going to have to flip to uh, extensive conscription. Because we're kind of running out of manpower at the moment. But we've been brought back from the uh, un near, near capitulation. France is nearly gone, so that's nice. Come on, everyone support that like, as you can. can't seem to fucking beat win at the moment. It's a, it's a deficit of equipment, I know that much. Well, well, deficit of equipment happens. It does look like they're trying to push now, finally. Maybe too little too late, though. Your equipment too, how unfortunate for me that that's you had finally It doesn't seem like we're gonna be able to support uh, there very much and win. Once that French troops move we're gonna attack there. 
Even though this guy has more supplies than him, the AI disagrees that my man would have been able to beat him. Fair enough. Level 7, level 5, level 6. Well, we may as well get Kyra while we're here. I see no reason why we shouldn't. So we've pushed extensively down there. These fucking guys will fall. And Turkey will capitulate because I said so. That is, uh, that is my, that is the law of my country. Or what I say. Ooh, Soviets are coming to help now. Please don't tell me you just completely abandoned this fort. Soviets, you confuse me sometimes. Like a legitimate confusion. Well, we may as well continue pushing along there. I don't see no reason. I see no reason why we shouldn't. And after all of that push, we still... The game did not let me finish the push. Even though we were winning. Yeah, just fucking stop. They've reinforced. I feel bad to be in balance, you two. Seems the English have completely abandoned this part of the land, which is good. Uh, definitely good. And again, yeah, we're losing here again. Stop. Stop it, guys. Come on. There's no point. Um, UK sticking their fucking nose in everything that they don't belong. Come on, break there. And the Soviets have actually completely abandoned this front. Oh my fucking god. One minute, ladies and gentlemen, one second. Okay, apologies ladies and gentlemen, let's get back on what we were doing, which was the failure at keeping this front interesting, and the Soviets are back completely fucking, oh god, the AI in this game is fucking blank. <sighs> Hand-holding fucking simulator, definitely. Resist as much me as much as they want, game. Doesn't mean shit. Alright, we uh oh look, we finally started to build infantry equipment, that's nice. Anywhere that could be useful build-wise. Oh we can't do that yet. We'll do let's do an education report, because why not? No reason not to. French you capitulated yet? Well once French capitulates that will uh lee up give us some leeway over here. British are continually just pushing further into my land. Soviets who should really be stopping them doing fuck all for help. Which is nice of them. Um, so definitely joining the Soviets was a bad idea. We'll have to wait until the wars are over till, uh, till we're able to rectify that.
Get up there and help him, because he's fucking dumb. Right. Any weak points in this front? That front is should we should be able to punch through there with the amount of men we're throwing at it, but apparently not. Overwhelming firepower in seven days, which doesn't really due to the fact that we're probably missing pretty much all our artillery pieces at this point, it's not really gonna help too much. I actually think we're missing all of them, I don't know, but I'm gonna guess and say we are. Let's push back and take all that, and then we'll move on then to somewhere useful. Like, um, back to this front, where the Soviets have decided to put back 24 divisions. And they're deciding to reman this with how many divisions? 33. It's very nice of them, isn't it? I see, we're still pushing in the north, though. However slow, it's just... We're losing so many more men because of the lack of equipment. The Soviet help would have been nice, but it just they don't seem to be wanting to help me anymore. That 70% quickly turns into a loss. Which... Is, is it because of our lack of equipment? Night time doesn't help. Exceeding combat with, and it's a river crossing because I'm starting it in provinces where there's a river crossing. So if you attack first, and then we would support every single one of these men. If it still gives me a river crossing, then it's BS. That much I can tell you. No, it's just the fact that there's a very small width. We tried. Right, this front's been completely beaten. We're moving our men now. This front just doesn't seem to be moving again, so that's fine. We seem we just don't seem to be able to push here either. I mean, once Turkey's done, we just have to wait till France, and then I can actually have all Turkey's land, and that just, and then I can like think about starting coring stuff. I really should have got down further into here before I um. Before I uh, started roaring. Holy fuck, they've sent 39 divisions to do sit there and do nothing. I don't understand why, but they have. I cannot tell if the Soviets are helping there, but I'm just gonna have to fucking say fingers crossed that they are. Yugoslavia capitulated, nothing to do with my war, so I don't care. Keep that out, so I'll act. Is it? Good, we're pushing now. We take their capital. This should be pretty much over. I'm hoping. Good, we've pushed that way. Kicking them out of our land like I want to. Alexandria has become theirs again, but I don't have the men over there to take it back. Perseverance, ladies and gentlemen. Perseverance. We're not getting any supplies back. I mean, our supplies are getting worse off again, but... Not much we can do about it at this point. Let's get some uh, more of you. Do we need all the trade we've got, by the way? We don't need as much tungsten. We still need six chromium. We don't need any of aluminium. Nope. Steel. Yeah, we need the steel. So we got some factories back. Getting, getting some more military factories for me. 146 guns a day. In 76 days, I got by 20%. And people are shouting again for some fucking reason. One second. There we go. That should do it. Let's push you two again. Because there should be no river crossing this time. Oh, I must admit, I look at things very bleakly, ladies and gentlemen. When things are in the bleak. I, I try to persevere, I'm just not a very persevering person. Oops, shit, didn't mean, nope, nope, don't attack, don't attack, stop that, thank you. Yellow, you need to push somewhere more interesting. That's green, you dumbass, that's me, I'm saying a dumbass, don't worry, there's generally, yeah, there you go. Push to there. Yes, hungry, bring all your men over here. Right. 
They don't seem to want to push this front end, which is fine. I'll push that after I beat Turkey, but... At the moment, Turkey's a threat. Three men. Same exact supplies. Well, less supplies, but they still have that more attack. That's the problem. They just have more guns than me. Fine. Once Turkey's beaten, I may actually get some spare artillery. I wish the port attacks automatically stopped when you stopped the attacks that they're supporting. It would make sense. But oh well. Saudi Arabia, we will fucking kill you soon. <sighs> right, where could... Get the fuck back over there. This is the only place we need to attack now with this arm. These guys we need to get back this front. What part of support don't you fucking understand, game? This is the last bit of my land that they have. Italy pursues closer bonds with the Germany. How many fucking men does France have? Well, they shouldn't be beating us, that's the point I'm getting at. Polish People's Republic. I am looking forward to the first couple of wars ending. Hopefully they won't end too soon. England and France are sat in Alexandria. Where the AI just don't seem to want to help anymore. Paradox really needs to fix the fact that AIs fuck around too much. And apparently we didn't fucking win there. Even though we've thrown loads of men into it, apparently the game just refused to give me that. I'm not producing any support equipment, which is fine. Great war tanks, fucking useless. Education reform, well let's get this. Let's get some radar stations that are basically useless at the moment, we don't need them. We need guns and stuff like that, but uh, well, they, it helps us modernize our country and get more cores, so. And the Soviets have abandoned all their fronts again. I don't understand why the game does this, it actually doesn't make sense. But we will persevere. Again, we didn't win this front. Figure out for the life of me why, but oh well. Ah, uh, this border conflict's gonna take way too long. We haven't lost any units yet, technically, though, so. I mean, there is that. That seems to be the problem. They have a very good defense value. Now this guy's very good at defense as well. I suppose that's not helping our life. And there we go. We seem to be winning this time. The question is though, are they bringing any more men in? Four days, three days. I don't like having to hold my men's hands so much, but I mean, if shit, if we win this fight, that'll make my life better. I don't give a shit if you've got no organization, you stay in that fight. There we go, we reclaimed all of Syria. Good. Our board on this front is not looking good at all. Mostly because the AI keeps letting our fucking... Like, keeps letting UK take our land. Uh, so that's just... That's nice of them, I suppose. There we go. Alright. We'll let our men uh, deploy themselves properly. 
they're retaking Nari, they don't care about that. They're going to land in the Middle East, of course they are. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to end this part in the next part. If you guys have enjoyed, I'll see you guys then.